coverage now in Pittsburgh County. The Oklahoma National Guard is helping the Oklahoma Highway Patrol in rescuing any stranded motorists. Our Shay Smith is in McAllister tonight where the Oklahoma National Guard is gearing up to make sure that motorists don't get stuck and they stay safe. Shay, fill us in on the conditions there. Yeah, Karen, so as you said, I'm in McAllister and I am right off of Highway 69. And if you can't tell, the sleet is just really starting to come down on us. It's starting to accumulate on the ground. And when it sticks to buildings and cars, it just seems to freeze. So there's just large slabs of ice on cars and you can tell that it's not just a beautiful soft snowfall. They are just frozen pellets of ice just coming down. So everything you're seeing, it looks to be sleet. Now today I spoke to the National Guard and starting today through Friday, they are providing the state SMART to areas all across Oklahoma. Now SMART stands for Stranded Motorist Assistance Recovery Teams. The teams will help OHP rescue drivers who get stuck in the storm and the National Guard's equipment is able to handle more hazardous road conditions than normal tow trucks. Lieutenant Southerd with the National Guard is urging residents to be cautious when driving, not only because of the weather, but also for them. As far as the civilian side it is just for drivers to be very cautious and vigilant about driving, uh, you know, because if we're on the side of the road helping out any stranded civilians or anything like that, we need them to be safe uh, and not put us in a dangerous situation. The National Guard says their priority is rescuing people and taking them to safety. They will also move any stuck or stalled vehicles from the roadway. However, guardsmen will not recover any vehicles that are not in the roadway. Other smart teams will be working in Claremore, Durant and Miami. We'll have more winter weather coverage for you just after this break. Live in McAllister, Shea Smith, 2 News, Oklahoma.